You know I'm excited about Superman and Lois returning this coming week on the CW. March the 14th is the big day, and this guy, of course, going to be a big part of the new season. Willie Parks, John Henry Irons himself. How you doing, man? I am doing great. How are you doing? Oh, man, feeling really, really good, especially excited for this season, too. So John Henry and Nat, they're kind of slowly, they've slowly built their lives in Smallville. As this season starts, do you kind of feel like they finally feel like members of this community? I, I think they do. At least I hope so. I, you know, what I think that's the whole idea is like we last season was about, OK, trying to figure things out, trying to reconcile the idea of where they came from with where they are now. We've accepted that, you know, Superman's good on this world. Lois exists. She's not the Lois we know, but like, you know, she's she's, she's there. So now it's like, OK, now what do we do? How do we have lives now going forward? And I think that's going to be an interesting thing about for us this season, like our relationship, relationships with other people. I'll tell you this, that, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's a single dad and, and she's a teenager and she ain't going to listen. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> I was actually going to ask you about that next because I was, you know, does this mean if you're being more comfortable, does this mean we're going to see John Henry being more of like the dad this season doing normal dad things, being worried about his daughter? You do. And that's the funny part. Actually, to be honest, it was kind of weird shooting some of those scenes because like I'm so used to like, you know, it being like intense and like, you know, we got to do this. We got to stop Superman. We got to fight this villain. And then it's just like, OK, you got to be a dad. You got to have this talk. She's not listening. Those kind of things. So uh, so it is funny. You get to see the whole gamut. So a little bit more comedy with John Henry this time, but also a little bit more intensity. And I mean, maybe start dating. Would that be something that uh, how's he going to deal with that? I, I, you know, that's the thing. Yeah, it's, it's, I know it's such a cliche. It's like, it's like, you know, the daughter starts dating. So how does the father react to it? I'm going to say if she ends up dating somebody, it will be, I, I would be curious to see how John Henry handles anything, because I think the interesting thing about him is, you know, and his lowest, obviously, like we said, has passed away. So he's never been a single dad before. Right. In my mind, the way I interpret it is that she was the one who would take care of all those things. You know, like Nat could go to her for that kind of advice and whatnot. So he's not that, like, he loves her. He, like, he cares about her deeply, but he doesn't know how to handle those things on his own. So it's to see him juggle those, those, uh, you know, going forward, it's going to be going to be interesting. Girl dad life can be tough for sure. So I, so oh, that's, yeah. I, I, I totally get that. So I feel like we've been waiting to find out more about John Henry of the current timeline that you're in right now too. Is, is that something we could finally start exploring this season? Oh, hundred percent. Especially, you know, uh, like uh, hopefully the fans know already uh, at the end of season two, it was teased that Bruno Mannheim's going to play a big role. And he's the guy who killed the John Henry of this earth. So we're going to get into a ton of that stuff. We're going to get into a lot of his backstory. This John Henry, my John Henry is going to learn about him as well, learn about other people. And I'll tell you as a tease, that's going to really kick off in uh, episode four. Episode four is where we really start getting a heavy John Henry stuff. Uh, and, and it's, and it's going to get intense pretty quickly. We'll say that. It's funny because you just keep leading me into the next thing that I'm going to ask you about. I want to talk about Bruno Mannheim. As a matter of fact, no spoilers, like you said, but yeah. how is Bruno Mannheim different from some of the other villains that we've seen so far in the show? And talk about Chad Coleman, what he brings to the role, because I, I mean, he's incredible. Oh, yeah, no, I love Chad. Like, Chad and I actually met uh, doing a show called All American a couple years ago. So so I just I, I just like Chad's energy in general because Chad Chad's very cerebral. You're going to, like, you ask him a question, then you're going to get, like, this long answer that kind of goes all over the place. But it, it makes oh, sense. Oh, I know. Trust me. Much, oh, you broke his head. So you, yes. You get, you get, you get <laughs> So, so that's the thing. He brings this sort of gravitas to this. Like, uh, unlike, you know, the other villains we had, you know, we had um, Ali Alston last year and then obviously me and Talro or whatever, but really more Talro in season one. Like you have these super powered villains. Bruno doesn't have any powers. Bruno is a man who is on a mission. And he has passion, he has dedication. And that's the thing, like that can be really dangerous. I mean, there, there's a reason that he's become the head of Intergang. There's a reason that they're all lead, they're all following his lead. So you're going to see him get kind of ruthless. You're going to see how he came to power. Uh, and it's going to be an interesting season. There's a whole lot of dangerous that's coming for sure. And, and fans will see that coming up on full display. 100%. I do yeah, want to yeah. talk about something else, though, because as I was watching the trailer, when I talked about the first trailer, when it came out, it says I said to myself, it seems like this is going to be a difficult season for Lois. I don't know why, but it just I feel that in my bones. And even though, like you said, John Henry's, you know, he's kind of moved on. He's realized that this isn't his Lois yeah. and things like that. Talk about how emotional this story is going to be for basically everyone and for John, because that connection still has to kind of be there. It does. And that's the thing. You're right. This is going to be an interesting season. I think, you know. One thing I'm really praising, I, in general, I praise like Todd Helbing, our, our, our first showrunner, and Brent Fletcher, who's now joined him, their co-showrunners. The fact that he's trying to really ground the show. His, his, his tagline is sort of like, how do you take a man that fly and ground him? 
And so that's why it's always been about family. It's been like, you know, that's something that we can all understand as people. Like, I can't relate to somebody who can like jump over a building and like, you know, literally mm -hmm. like pick up bridges and all that. I, I don't know what that's like. Right. But you can understand the idea of love and caring about people and all those things. So that's what I think the show does really, really well. And you're going to see that this season. I think they're taken into a, a, a area which I don't think many superhero shows have gone before. And, and I really think that, and I hope that people in audiences connect with it. I think it's a storyline that, you know, a lot of people have gone through and and hopefully they'll they'll understand what we're trying to do with it. And, uh, but we'll see. Uh, I, you know, I just, I just hope we have, like I said, our fans have been amazing and, and hopefully they stay along for the ride and they find out. Very well put. We're talking to Wale Parks, who of course is playing John Henry Irons as usual on season three of Superman and Lois, which is going to come back on March the 14th on the CW. Now, Wale, we've gotten to see John Henry in full hero mode, but he's also had to kind of balance that with getting used to the whole new world. Like you said, whole new way of life. Do you think yes. he's still finding his footing as a hero? Uh, oh, as a hero, I, 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 that's interesting. I, I don't think he's finding his footing as a hero because I think for him it's about selflessness. Like you know, uh, and that's how what anyone I think you know could connect to. Uh, it's interesting when I first got cast, uh, you know, I didn't know I was John Henry Irons. Uh, there were dummy sides, you know, like they said something sure. generic name, you know, Brad Smith or whatever. Uh, but I, the way I read it, I, I, I could tell it was sort of like a Lex Luthor kind of thing, and that's why you know he was Captain Luthor in the beginning. So I came at that from that aspect, like a very selfish kind of man, like it's all about him. And then when Todd called me and said, no, you're actually going to be John Henry Irons, I had to flip everything because that's not a selfish character. Right. You know, and, and the whole reasoning behind him of like, you know, like trying to avenge his, you know, uh, the, the the death of his wife and all the, you know, the, the, his earth and trying to protect people here. So I had to flip him from being selfish to selfless. So I think he's already there. That 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 the hero is fine, but I think his journey is just going to be sort of truly letting go and being able to move on because he's he's realized this is he's accepted that this is his new reality like and the superman is is good this is what lois is different lois or whatever but i don't think he's fully accepted his past and what happened to it i think there's a little bit of trauma there i think he still blames himself in some ways and i think we're gonna see him this year really kind of struggle with that and hopefully gets to the other side and, and can really truly just immerse himself in the world and just have a new life so do you feel like it maybe it's more about acceptance rather than atonement at this point? Yes, that's what I feel like. I, I have to be because like it, it, he tried to atone and that didn't work because Superman's alive. So then yeah. what do you do? You know, so so you have to like if that was his whole mission and suddenly you take it away, that's your life's purpose. And suddenly it's like, OK, your life's purpose is gone. What do you do? Oh, and yeah. at some point, I, you know, I believe you just have to accept the past as a way to move forward. So, yeah, that's going to be his big journey. He's he's it's a different level uh, this year, and, and it's going to be cool to see where, where it goes. Well, I can't wait to get your reaction to this one, because we've seen that, of course, you said he's, you know, he's sort of moved on from Lois. He's made his peace with that. But yes. could we see John Henry maybe start to find a different love interest maybe this season? I, you know, I would love it just to like have him do something. Look, you know, like, there's only but so many people I can like fight and be intense about. You know what yeah, I mean? That is like, very true. <laughs> you know, there's always there's always gonna be a villain. There's always that. I, I promise you, we got a lot of John Henry action. Like a lot. This season is actually gonna be kind of crazy. Uh, uh, but yeah, it'll be nice to see that kind of side, like a domesticated side. You know what I mean? Like like kind of. I really want to tap into what was John Henry like before he went through all the trauma? You know, who yeah. was this guy at his core? And I think we're going to start seeing more of that come out, come to the surface as the season progresses. And yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be nice. All right. Well, I'll have to wait and see for that one. So I've seen in some interviews that you've done where you talk about how well you get along with the cast and how much everybody gets along and how much you enjoy working with one another. Do you have a favorite story that you can share with us from when the cameras weren't rolling? Someone that just something that just oh. really sticks out in your mind. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but this is, okay. This is, it's not a favorite, just like a recent one. <laughs> this, is, this is just so That's dumb. good too. Hey, the, that uh, works for me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's just uh, cause over the weekend, cause like, you know, we're, fi we're filming the finale right now. So we're winding down. And uh, so we did a little cast thing at, at Tyler's place. Uh, uh, just like, you know, like as the last weekend, last hurrah. And we decided, I don't know who introduced this, but there's something like a hot chip challenge. It's something like, p p p p p there's some I know exactly I know. what you're talking about. Yep. Okay, yeah, it comes in like individually wrapped yep. in foil and then in a box coffin. That should be enough warning not to do it. <laughs> but we're I'm not the brightest, apparently, because I, along with a bunch of people from the show, and uh, uh, you know, we decided like, oh, we're going to like, let's try this together. And it didn't go well. Uh, I mean, went as well as expected in, in so far as if you eat something that says this is dangerous and you shouldn't eat it if you have a heart condition, 
it's probably not going to be good. So so we were over there just together acting the fool and, and, and like we do it all together and, and, and we started. And like at first we we're like, oh, it's fine. Everything's this is easy. Then me, like the idiot, I'm like, oh, let me take another piece. Cause like, oh, oh no, I got this. man. I know, I know. And Sophia <laughs> follows me. And and so and so we're out. <laughs> like it kicks in. And then it's just all of us just going around just being like, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And of course, it's only the fools. It's like me, Tyler, Sophia, a guy on our crew and Birdie and David of, of Bitsy's husband. Bitsy and M, Emmanuel, have nothing to do with it. They just they're, they're, I'm like, do you want to join? And they're like, no, you're idiots. So uh, I know they're smart. smart. Women tend to be smarter. Uh, <laughs> so so yeah. So it was uh it was it's things like that. That's again, you're right. Like that's to me what makes it fun because you know you're shooting for 14 hour plus days every day, and and you know it's tiring. And like the weather up here is like you know brutal sometimes. So to have that kind of camaraderie and that fun, it, it's really good. That's incredible, man. I love that story. I really hope there's video of this somewhere that is going to get released at some point. I'm gonna say there is video. I I, I will see if it gets out because it's. I look kind of stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they'll tag you then if that's the case. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, as your character starts to evolve, obviously as you become more of a member of the community, is there anyone that you haven't gotten to have a lot of scenes with up to this point that you're going to get to work with a little bit more this season? Uh, I will say my dream uh, uh, because she's my work wife is Sophia. Sophia has me. Uh, uh, you know, like like we just we always joke about we hang out the most and then but we don't actually interact. Uh, 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 you know, like. I, We'll see if it happens more this season. I, I I think the good part about what we ended last season is that a lot of people now know are on the secret. Because, you know, sometimes it feels like there's a superhero side than there's another show. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because not everybody knows. So because more people are involved, we start getting a little more interaction with other people in the cast. So so it's cool. Yes, but I would love more scenes with Sophia because I just love Sophia and we're great. Absolutely, man. Absolutely, well, really man. quickly, before I let you go, there's a lot of changes going on in DC right now and CW in general, you know, with James Gunn and Peter Safran coming in. What are your hopes for this show and for John Henry beyond this season? I mean, at this point, look, I I know as much as everyone else, you know, no one knows. We, we, we It's all sort of, you know, up in the air because you're right. There are so many changes going on and a, and a grand scale. I mean, like James Gunn already laid out his... um. 10 year plan. So my hope is like, yeah, I would love to get another season or two in at least because I, I would like us to end. I'd like us to know ahead of time so that we can really craft a good finale. And like I said, we don't know. So, so, so I, I, I think if we got a heads up, I would love that. I think that'd be good for the storyline for the fans. Oh, look, yeah, what I love, I mean, yeah, what I love, like a John Henry theoretical spinoff. Yeah. I'm not going to be like, oh, uh, please don't give yes. me a steel spinoff. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to. I'm not stupid. Uh, 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 do I think that's going to happen? No, realistically, I'm, I'm a realist about this stuff. I don't think it's going to happen, but I'm just, I've just been glad to be on the journey at all. It's just been really cool to just play superheroes and get to talk to people like you who are wearing a Superman shirt, which by the way, I notice. And that's thank right. you so much. <laughs> <laughs> got to represent the brand, got to rep the brand yeah. and make sure that we're all watching when season three of Superman and Lois premieres on March the 14th on the CW. Remember you watch it again though, the next day on the CW app, you got to do it twice. Yeah. That that's yeah. that's one of the ways you can help the show for sure. And just this guy's got an amazing journey coming up this season. Well, A Parks, thank you so much, man, for your time. I really appreciate it. No problem. Thanks for having me, James.